This video demonstrates how to use Intel VTune Profiler to configure a threading analysis to analyze locks and weights, and how to use Intel Instrumentation and Tracing Technology APIs to identify what code blocks the threads are executing when examining the timeline. The application profiled in this demo creates over 30 threads. Each thread first reads the contents of a file and calculates the SHA-256 hash of that file. It writes the hash to a mutex protected file. It then compresses the file contents and writes the compressed data to a new file. So with this workload, we will be able to observe a large number of threads competing for mutex ownership and generating disk I.O. In the VTune Profiler user interface, configure the target system in the where pane, the application and parameters in the what pane, and in the how pane, select threading in the parallelism group and user mode sampling. Also configure the source and binary search directories. After running the analysis, the summary tab reports that the application utilized most of the processor cores for the duration of its execution. In the bottom up tab, group by function call stack and filter process to our application's process. The bottom up tab shows that the deflate function was the primary hotspot and the timeline shows many threads. Check the transitions toggle button to see where synchronization object contention occurred during execution. Synchronization object examples include semaphores, mutexes, and IO weights. With the mouse, select a portion of the timeline with many transitions and select zoom in on selection from the pop-up menu. Mouse hover over one of the transitions to see details such as which thread was waiting on which synchronization object. In this case, a mutex and for how long. We also see the source file and line number where this transition occurred. The timeline also shows tasks such as fread and md5 update. These are user-defined tasks implemented in the application code using Intel Instrumentation and Tracing Technology APIs or ITT APIs. While code instrumentation is optional for VTune profiler analysis, instrumented code can provide enhanced insights into application performance. Change the grouping to task domain, task type to see that our code has three domains, a compression domain, an encryption domain, and a file IO domain. Expanding each domain shows task types which are thread-based logical units of work that I will refer to as code blocks. In this example, several code blocks were instrumented within each domain and VTune shows execution statistics for each code block, including the count and execution time for each one. Right mouse click on one of these task types and select filter in by selection from the pop-up menu to see the timeline with only the data associated with that code block. Click the clear all filters to restore the timeline view. Looking at the code used to instrument this application, we see the resource definition, including our domains and strings for our task types. We also see the resource initialization of these domains and strings. And we see an example of file wrappers for fread and fwrite using ITT task begin and ITT task end. Returning to the bottom up view of our data and zooming in on the timeline, we see where the task begin and task end were called for each thread so we have a better understanding of what that thread was executing during this portion of the timeline. 